This video is aimed to support general English course activity. Some sources are taken from British Council website and Yahoo Singapore. This recording is from the British Council. I want to explain a few things about your essay. First of all, the deadline. The deadline for this essay is October the 18th, not the 19th, not the 28th, not two days later because your dog was ill or your computer broke. The 18th. If it's late, I won't mark it. I won't even read it. You'll fail the assignment. So, please hand it in on time. You can even hand it in early, if you like. You can email me the essays at j.hartshorn at lmu.ac.uk. That's H-A-R-T-S-H-O-R-N. I'll reply to say I've got it. If I don't reply within a day, it might mean I didn't get it, so please email me again to make sure. You can also bring a paper copy of the essay to my office, but let's be kind to the trees, okay? Email is better for the trees and for me. Don't forget that you must reference every idea or quote you use that isn't your own idea. And the last page of your essay should be a list of all the books you used, in alphabetical order, not in the order you used them. And lastly, make it easy for me to read. That means use a clear font. Arial is best, but Times New Roman is fine too. Not Comic Sans, please. Size 12 font for the essay, and size 14 for the titles and subheadings. And use page numbers. Any questions? This recording is from the British Council. To find more activities to practice your English, visit www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English. This recording is from the British Council. I want to explain a few things about your essay. First of all, the deadline. The deadline for this essay is October the 18th. Not the 19th, not the 28th, not two days later because your dog was ill or your computer broke. The 18th. If it's late, I won't mark it. I won't even read it. You'll fail the assignment. So, please hand it in on time. You can even hand it in early, if you like. You can email me the essays at j.hartshorn at lmu.ac dot uk that's h a r t s h o r n i'll reply to say i've got it if i don't reply within a day it might mean i didn't get it so please email me again to make sure 
You can also bring a paper copy of the essay to my office, but let's be kind to the trees, okay? Email is better for the trees and for me. Don't forget that you must reference every idea or quote you use that isn't your own idea. And the last page of your essay should be a list of all the books you used, in alphabetical order, not in the order you used them. And lastly, make it easy for me to read. That means use a clear font. Arial is best, but Times New Roman is fine too. Not Comic Sans, please. Size 12 font for the essay, and size 14 for the titles and subheadings. And use page numbers. Any questions? This recording is from the British Council. To find more activities to practice your English, visit www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English. Singapore to include mental health services into healthier SG program. Singapore's Health Minister Ong Yi Kung has confirmed that mental health services will be included in the National Preventive Care Program. Healthier SG, within the next two years. During a speech at the Singapore Mental Health Conference on Wednesday, the 4th of October, Minister Ong stated, we will be developing mental health protocols and incorporating mental health prevention and support as part of the general practitioner's GPS scope of practice under Healthier SG just as we have done for many other chronic diseases. Through Healthier SG, we should aim to help individuals build their mental resilience, cope with stress, and seek help early when needed. Building a stronger mental health support system. Ong revealed that more than 400 GPS are trained to manage mental health cases and collaborate with community intervention teams and hospitals to meet patients' mental health needs, with plans for expansion in the coming years. He also mentioned the Interagency Task Force on Mental Health and Wellbeing, established in 2021, which has developed a national strategy to address mental health issues. From both preventive and curative perspectives as well as through the community, schools, and workplaces. Challenges faced by the younger generation. Ong drew attention to the increasing number of students raising mental health concerns. Particularly during his previous role as education minister. He acknowledged that the younger generation faces unique challenges, such as climate change worries. Adapting to a rapidly changing world, intense academic and workplace competition, and the impact of social media on social interactions. He concluded his speech by highlighting the interconnectedness of physical, mental and emotional health, stating, All these aspects of health are interdependent, you lose one, you lose it all. In this phase of globalization, digital connectivity, climate change and FOMO. Fear of missing out, mental health has emerged as a significant health issue. Our response cannot be over-medicalized. We need to recognize that this is fundamentally a socio-economic challenge, albeit with significant health consequences. Singapore to include mental health services into healthier SG program. Singapore's Health Minister Ong Yi Kung has confirmed that mental health services will be included in the National Preventive Care Program. Healthier SG, within the next two years. During a speech at the Singapore Mental Health Conference on Wednesday, the 4th of October, Minister Ong stated, we will be developing mental health protocols and incorporating mental health prevention and support as part of the general practitioner's GPS scope of practice under Healthier SG just as we have done for many other chronic diseases. Through Healthier SG, we should aim to help individuals build their mental resilience, cope with stress, and seek help early when needed. Building a stronger mental health support system. Ong revealed that more than 400 GPS are trained to manage mental health cases, and collaborate with community intervention teams and hospitals to meet patients' mental health needs, with plans for expansion in the coming years. 
He also mentioned the Interagency Task Force on Mental Health and Wellbeing, established in 2021, which has developed a national strategy to address mental health issues. From both preventive and curative perspectives as well as through the community, schools, and workplaces. Challenges faced by the younger generation. Ong drew attention to the increasing number of students raising mental health concerns. Particularly during his previous role as education minister. He acknowledged that the younger generation faces unique challenges, such as climate change worries. Adapting to a rapidly changing world, intense academic and workplace competition, and the impact of social media on social interactions. He concluded his speech by highlighting the interconnectedness of physical, mental and emotional health, stating, All these aspects of health are interdependent, you lose one, you lose it all. In this phase of globalization, digital connectivity, climate change and FOMO, fear of missing out, mental health has emerged as a significant health issue. Our response cannot be over-medicalized. We need to recognize that this is fundamentally a socio-economic challenge, albeit with significant health consequences.